Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and today I wanna talk about what Halo Infinite needs to succeed. Now obviously, a game needs multiple things to be considered a success in the gaming world today, but these were just five points that I had been thinking about that Halo Infinite needs that, you know, it may have been lacking in previous installments in the franchise. I even added a few extra points at the end, so let me know if you stuck around that far. As always, if you enjoyed the video, throw a like on it since YouTube hates me, and sub if you haven't, and let me know down below what you guys think Halo Infinite needs to succeed as well. Number one, a fantastic campaign, of course. This is an opinion with differing viewpoints. Some people like H5's campaign, some people don't. Some people love Halo 2, some don't. My personal favorite is CE. I love the mystery and the semi-open worldness of the game. And um, I think that a campaign provides replayability with friends, even, you know, sit down with your, your significant other. Um, you know, something that you can do over the course of the game's lifespan. It's always fun to revisit that single player aspect, um, especially if you really enjoyed it. I would love to see a continuation of the blue team within the game and fleshing out the characters more, although there is something very special about playing levels as a lone wolf, aside from having Cortana with you. And I wouldn't be upset if the game focused solely on the Master Chief. Halo has also thrived on good storytelling, music, characters that are beloved, and hopefully Infinite can follow in those footsteps with iconic missions and a story that gets you invested, which should be a main priority for 343. Number two, balanced and well-designed maps by the developer. And I say developer because in Halo 5, all the BTB maps are basically done by the community. This is great and all, you know, that the community forgers can get their content into the game, but there's a distinct difference in what the developers can do with all the tools and a team dedicated to creating these, you know, aesthetically pleasing maps. And again, don't get me wrong, the community made maps that are fantastic, but there needs to be more developer maps created for BTB, especially if Warzone is gone. I think releasing the game with a ton of maps that are designed from the get-go and then adding those community maps later on is the way to go. You gotta have well-designed maps that are loved by the community to keep people engaged and to keep playing. And because of advanced movement and sprinting, there seems to be layout problems within the maps, bad spawn logic, and a plethora of other issues that other YouTubers way smarter than myself have covered. Halo has some of the most iconic and most played maps in history of gaming, and hopefully Infinite can add to that aspect of Halo's resume. Number three is crossplay, and I can't stress how important this is, but combining and keeping the population healthy is incredibly important in so many aspects of the game. This would improve matchmaking, tie the community together, um, the ease of playing with friends is basically instant and would follow in the footsteps of other major games and developers currently. So like look at Call of Duty and how you can play Warzone with PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. I, that it, it is the future of gaming and has already had the foundation laid. So hopefully 343, Microsoft, they can get behind this and really um, incorporate crossplay. We haven't seen it yet with MCC, which I hope we do, but... It is, as of this recording, May 13th, so Infinite comes out in literally a few months, so I don't know if we're going to see it before Infinite actually comes out in the MCC. And I do understand and appreciate the argument about mouse and keyboard and controller users currently, and I've used both inputs extensively. I have my own opinions on them, but I think whatever the ranked playlist is, in Halo Infinite, it should have restrictions unless you want to opt into fighting against both inputs. This would allow you to play with friends on Xbox and PC, but under the knowledge that you know you're going to be fighting against both inputs. So if you're on Xbox, you know that you're going to team up with your friend that's on PC, and you know that you're going to play other PC players and vice versa. Um, I do think that crossplay is probably one of the major things that need to ship with Halo Infinite. Um, like I said, population, 
all the, the issues that games have with low populations, and we even see it with Halo 5 and MCC right now, um, the shortcomings of it. So hopefully, please cross my fingers that we see crossplay. Number four is they need to release Forge and Theater fully fleshed out, easy to use from the get-go. Forge is a butter to Halo's bread. To not have it on launch is catastrophic and detrimental to the entire ecosystem of Halo. Halo 5's Forge released, I think, about two months after Halo 5's actual release, and that is not good. That cannot happen again. Uh, Forge creates a better sense of community. Some of the creations are just insane, and it's something that most other gaming communities don't have at all in any capacity. We do have good news though, uh, 343 has already spoken about Forge and the new features that are going to be added in, so fingers crossed, it's super cool, easy to use, and the community can really come together and make some pretty dope content. Number five is cosmetic progression systems aside from the actual battle pass, and I think this has been semi-confirmed already in the sense that 343 has said that the progression system is going to be like that of Reach, and we've already seen the implementation of a battle pass in MCC, and honestly, it's respectable as of right now i would love to see a system for titles and emblems you know unlocked for doing specific challenges along with armor pieces uh, we've had the rec system which is basically randomized loot boxes um and it's pretty awful and it replaces the progression system with a grind that you have absolutely no control over other than getting xp i guess and Halo Reach, you know, it gives you the goal of pursuing and stockpiling points for the items you wanted. So, you know, I, I don't know what's actually going to happen. Um, I hope that the battle pass isn't like super cool exclusive armor. I think that would be detrimental um, by making people pay to just have super sweet armor. I don't know. I, I'm really split on this opinion because uh, I've... I've seen how microtransactions have been, and I just, I don't have a lot of faith in any developer when it comes to this stuff, so, um, 343 had said before that Halo Infinite won't have paid loot boxes, but it will have microtransactions, so maybe a store, something like that, uh, where you actually pick and choose and pay with your money what you want, which I guess is okay, um, and then here are the, the, the fun extra things. It needs to be mouse and keyboard viable, and we can fight about that all you want, but using a mouse and keyboard on MCC on PC is trash. Fight me. They need to have a real eSports roadmap because Halo eSports should be amazing and lit and cool and dope and all those other words you kids use these days. There needs to be community events within the game and outside of it. I would love to see weekend um events for the community complete you know anything i kind of and I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be honest here i hope that they kind of take maybe something like a trials of osiris from destiny uh type of playlist for the weekend that's like the casualification of a hardcore environment you know not just that one through 50 ranking or um how halo 5 does it with the the tiers and stuff but you know something that's that's almost resemblance of a, of a Trials of Osiris. I really think that having those events in the game world are really important now. Um, it needs to have server browsers at launch because that's, it should just have it. There's no ifs, and or buts. It just needs to have that. And it needs to have constant updates and reasons to play. So that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!